Destiny players, when the new weapon asks for more than just mouse one repeatedly, you need to wait for it to be at times five. Will it's not meant for spamming perks and then say a weapon bad when they aren't even using it correctly. You have to charge it to max stacks. Did you even use it wrong? Using it wrong, by the way. Donkey. I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Let me raise this. Guys. I was wrong. Dragon's Breath is good. In fact, it's very good. In solo content, it offers a very strong method of damage that is so unreasonably easy to execute, you wouldn't even think twice about trying the alternatives like Izzy Rocket, Wither Horde Rocket, or Merciless Rocket, all of which do less damage in the same time frame and take more effort to pull off while solo. During testing, I almost hit 3 mil on Greg when stacking all of the relevant buffs and artifact mods. However, despite all its merits in solo content, I haven't seen any coverage on its performance in group content, which is what I'll be spending the rest of this video discussing. In the face of all the hype, and believe me, there's a lot of it, it's important to remember that solo and group content are to be treated differently when it comes to effective DPS. Due to the existence of pack hunter rockets, bait and switch grenade launchers, and tick damage stacking rules, the number of players present in your fire team can have a large impact on your choice of weaponry when looking to optimize. For example, did you know that in a three-man fire team, it's actually more optimal to have all three players using a bait and switch cataphract rather than two legendary rockets and one Galahorn. Similarly, in solo content, you unfortunately don't have access to pack hunter rockets, which leads to weapons like Dragon's Breath taking center stage. So, without further ado, let's find out if it's worth using in a group setting. First of all, I'm sure you've all heard that if you do choose to use Dragon's Breath in group content, that there should be no more than one person using it. Let me show you why. I conducted three individual tests where an increasing number of players shot exactly one rocket simultaneously and added the total health bar damage in each case and compared it to the one rocket scenario. With only one player shooting, the rocket hits for around around 138,000, and as you can see, the more players you have in your team using it, the worse it gets, with it being about 75% as effective in the three-man test when compared to the one-person test if you divide the total health bar damage by three. Okay, so that's settled. No more than one person should be using it. But how about none? You see, optimal rocket usage in group content always includes a Galahorn. So let's see what numbers we can hit with Pack Hunter and a basic Wither Horde rocket rotation. As you can see, with the addition of Pack Hunter, the legendary rocket option comes out on top. Granted, the difference isn't major, so I'll leave you to be the judge. Rounding things off, Dragon's Breath is an incredible option for solo content with its high total damage and insane ease of use, and pairs very nicely with any solar build, especially on Warlock and Hunter. And Titans, I'm sorry, but Banner of War is still just too good to pass up. As we discussed, in group content, you can get away with using it, but because of the existence of Cataphract and Galahorn, it becomes harder to justify. Anyway, I hope this video has informed you on Dragon's Breath's performance outside of solo content, and just as a final note on my previous video depicting it, I did indeed miss the mark, and I will work better in future when making weapon breakdowns. That's all for today, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.